In our monthly checkup today, we're talking about heart disease and the importance of prevention and awareness. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for both men and women here in the U.S. Each year, about 610,000 people die from heart disease. That's one in every four deaths. Heart disease is the second leading cause of death in New Hampshire, accounting for 1,557 deaths in 2013. New Hampshire State Public Health Director Dr. Jose Montero joins us now. What are the risk factors that people need to be on the lookout for? We can break those risk factors in three separate groups. Uh, some stuff has to do with illnesses, so people who has high blood pressure, people who has high cholesterol or diabetes, or people who has history of previous heart conditions or strokes have a higher risk of, of those. Lifestyle, things that we do to ourselves, so what we eat, how physically active we are, because we know that those may lead to overweight or obesity. Uh, smoking certainly is still a key important factor uh, in, in these risk factors uh, compound. Uh, the third group that, that we can talk about has to do with uh, genetics. We cannot change that. Family history of chronic uh, heart conditions is really an important factor that we all need to mix with these other two groups and, and make a decision about our level of risk. So, but if it does, uh, if it is in your family, if you do have a history of heart disease, what are some things that you can do to um, live a healthier life, well, I guess? For all of us, and especially for those that already know the risk, first, if you have the risk, go to the doctor and check that out so, so they have a history of you and can advise you directly. If you have one of the diagnoses of those diseases, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, diabetes, or, or one of those, get proper treatment and get it under control. And it's not just about medication, it's about the lifestyle changes that brings us to the third risk group. So don't smoke. And if you are smoking, call our 1-800-QUIT line. Uh, eat healthier and be more physically active. Engage every season in New Hampshire is great to do some physical activity out there. Or if you want to go to a gym, a YMCA that have a specific programs, go for that. Those are the things that are going to decrease the risk. And we want to talk about heart attacks in particular. And the symptoms for men and for women are very different, right? They can be. Still for both, the, the most frequent symptom is this feeling of oppression or pain actually in your chest. Uh, in men, it goes with the pain in the arm or it goes to the jaw. But in women, actually, we know that there is some data out there that shows that they feel just general discomfort. So it's not that specific for many women. Uh, and, and we want them to be fully aware of that. So discuss it with your clinician, especially if you have a risk factor or any of the three categories. So you are fully aware and educate yourself. We have our website. We partner with EMS, hospitals, community health centers, heart association. Go to those well-known scientific-based websites, look at the information, look at the risk factors, and develop with your clinical system a, a path to get you to be healthy. All right, Dr. Jose Montero, we appreciate it. Great information as always, and we will Thank be right back.